Hello everyone and welcome back to Undertale. We're gonna go on more dates and ride ducks and other crap like that. Well, we're not riding. Look a duck, at that majestic child. Oh wow. It's beautiful. A strong duck. You've been dropped. That's an amazing fairy. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. <laughs> no, I don't think I have any gold. No, did you even get that? Yeah, I know. I got it. Oh! <laughs> like, he gave you yeah. gold instead of... <laughs> oh, look. Oh, no. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Why do I, I... Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of a personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to go over there. So here you go. You got Thundine's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Oh. Hey, is this some kind of joke? It's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. Oh, it's no. surprising, too, for all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. So passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Nice reaction. Dating start. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Uh. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. Oh. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Yay. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. <laughs> it's not Hoonie Pop. <laughs> so increase our chance of a successful outcome of the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... Some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> Uh, do you like anime? Oh. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> oh, great. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> she really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, 
Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. <laughs> huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? Yes? So she's somewhere around here. <laughs> Thanks, I'll keep looking. Welcome, bye. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. <laughs> well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. Messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Keep lying. <laughs> the truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. No, don't... Isn't it better this way? Sure. To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. I don't really like who myself is. Change for yourself. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Oh, Obviously. D&D, let's go. A roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. For you. Okay, which one of us will be undone? Oh. I'll be undone. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ah, uh, glad to hear it. <laughs> Playing hard to get right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? <laughs> um, you see, I, I haven't exactly been truthful with you. You see, I, I... Oh, forget it. Undyne. I- I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. Oh you always do your best to make me feel special. Like- like telling me that you'll beat up anyone who gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me! That escalated. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I... I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... <gasps> no. ...on a date? Maybe. How could you? Pretty easy. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you seaweed was, like, scientifically important. I just, I just used it to make ice cream, and those human history books keep... Oh god. Those are just dorky comic books. 
and the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. <laughs> they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone? I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. Oh, God, John. I didn't press that. Oh, you didn't? No. I can't read fast enough. No, no I wasn't pressing that. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Ooh. Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize. Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't really have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? Psh, what? Me? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna give a pirate to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Get those bones shaken! <laughs> it's time to jog 100 laps hooting about how great we are! <laughs> Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne? I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? <laughs> Those cartoons. Those comics. Those are still real, right? <laughs> Anime's real, right? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Oh, you didn't get it before? Well, I didn't know that's what she actually meant. Like, with the giant swords yeah. and all that stuff. That was just anime. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to say, too. But, things seem to be going better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Yeah, I beat the game. Okay, now. Now what you need to do is go back to the lab. Now's the part where crazy shit happens. So you should probably save. I mean, there's save points along the way. But... Actually, I think I did. I probably didn't need to tell you. I think Alphys like calls you in a minute. Yeah, that was Alphys before. <laughs> oh. Called it. <laughs> Howdy, if it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Um, uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> it's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start th doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know what the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. The door right there. Yeah, I know. Where are you going then? <laughs> I don't want to know what happened. That's the, the door. Well, I don't want to know. I'm going to be happy. We're dead.
Warning, warning. Yes, warning, warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Well, what the hell? Is the elevator broke. That's what happened. Yeah, but... Why did it break? We're gonna find out. You can read those. <laughs> I know. Definitely. I know, I'm skipping them on purpose. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. Oh. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. Barrier is locked by soul power. Fortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. Souls of monsters. Ooh. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. Only I could make a monster's soul last. So they're performing experiments on monsters. Entry number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Same as fuck. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you can read. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Power room. Keep in mind, by the way, that um, there were only four of those. So you skip number four. Number four wasn't over there. Oh. Oh, right. you can buy items in the vending machine there if you need to. Oh, that's cool. I, I mean, you have a bunch of healing items right now, but if you need more, you can buy chips. Well, I don't have any money. You do, I think. Oh, I do. You have a ton of money. Where do I get the money from? Battling? I thought you get money from killing. Oh, you get experience from killing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Money you get just from oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I just inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. So she's taking yeah. monsters that were gonna die and injecting determination into them. So that was six, and then there's seven and eight. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me about what happened. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. That's awkward. Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Hmm. So you need four keys to open it. Yeah. The, the, that switch over there was the first one. Oh. So you need to figure out how to get the red key to open that switch. Oh, okay. You turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Oh. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. 
Come join the fun. Doesn't look fun. Definitely not fun. But nobody came. Join? Refuse. Join. Refuse. Refuse. Join. Also fun. Just for a moment. Ah, no! And nobody came. Okay, then. Refuse. Refuse. I didn't see what it said at the time. Yeah, hit me now. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Exactly what I wanted. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Red switch has been turned on. Okay. What do you think is going on here? Mm, they created monsters. What do you mean created monsters? <laughs> ghost monsters? I mean they are monsters. Yeah, I forgot. They created mo ghost monsters. Entry number twelve. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. It just keeps injecting everything with determination. I'll just. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. That means zombies! It's an empty dog food bowl. Entry number 14. Everyone that has fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. Thought they were goners. No. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. Question mark. Set the souls back to Asgore. Returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. <laughs> Can't wait for this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, never mind. It all ended happily ever after. Yeah. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a cat, isn't it? It's a cat? I don't know if it's a cat. It looks like a tail. Oh, this can't be good for me. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it in your keychain. Oh, okay. There's nothing. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, then. Don't forget, you can still go left. That one or that Okay. So I'm missing two keys. Entry number 11. Now that Metatons made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. See me. Oh, wait. There is no escape. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't see me. But it works, right? Of course. It's here. It's the amalgamate. Pet. Amalgamate is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Sounds right. Oh, this is cool. Have you noticed anything about this? That's a dog. Yeah. I see the outlines and everything. Yeah, but... What? Think about that. It's the dog. Yeah. I, I but it also has some other things to it. It has legs. Oh no, it jumps! I see those arrows. Oh, no. 
Beckett. <laughs> it bounds toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Dogmates viewers rotate quickly, nothing else happens. Cause you're already beckoned it. Uh -huh. Hey! You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly in your lap for a moment. Zzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. That's not cool. Where did I? You're fine. Uh, what did I do now? Play? Beckon. Amalgamate's viewers rotate quickly, oh, nothing else happens. Pretty sure it's play. If I remember correctly. Ah, get me now! That was okay, a, okay, okay, sorry, okay, sorry, that was a sorry. nice dodge earlier, oh, I gotta so say. Oh. You're betting it all on this. <laughs> Throw your weapon in the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It means it's dripping, amorphous body on you. Oh, great, 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 great. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, why? That's fine. That's fine. Right. <sighs> okay. See you guys next time in Undertale. When we figure out the bottom of what the hell is going on in this lab. So much to do. Bye. <laughs>